show how I do what I call impression painting. Um, some people call it dipping. Um, I just use acrylics from, you can't really see it, but Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's the, I think it's like $6.99. Um, and what I do first is I put a fairly thick coat of paint on whatever canvas, whether I'm reusing a canvas or it's a brand new one, um, and just set it aside. Then what I do is this is the white paint that I just showed you and I put a couple drops, no more than that, of dimethicone in it and I'm going to stir it up and get a, you know, a runny consistency. I don't mind if it's a little thicker um, than what you would use in fluid painting because you're going to want as much of this paint to stick to the canvas as possible. So from there, I just kind of puddle it up in the area that I want. The canvas I showed you before that I put the white on is 8 by 10. Um, if you put a lot of paint on and you only use a section, you can do more than one canvas. Um, but I'm, I, don't, I don't do it sparingly. I really add, a, 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 you can tell, a fair amount of paint here. From there, I just start adding, adding my colors. Some are a little more watery than others. Some are a little thicker than others. Um, they're all watered down, and they all have silicone in them. And I just do kind of a random splash pattern, no rhyme or reason. Um, different colors. I, if you watch my feed, you can tell I'm a, a love bright, crazy colors. Um, so I just start going through whatever colors I picked out. Again, they're all watered down. Um, to some degree, like this one you can tell is just a little bit thicker. Um, some, some are a little bit thinner because again I'm kind of want, I want to make sure that this adheres to the canvas. At the end, I'm also just going to put some white back on top. I'm just going to sprinkle the white back on top that has the dimethicone in it. So quite a few colors I'm using in this, just an experiment, see how we do. Um, so now we're into the pinks. Um, you can tell I love purples and blues and so as you can imagine this is really uh, puddling up. There's quite a bit of paint. So if you're doing smaller canvases you could actually do a series by putting them in different parts of the paint and still kind of pulling in the same color themes. Um, <clears throat> just a couple more to go. Again, the other thing is when it's wet, if you don't like how you're pulling the canvas off, you don't like the effect, you wish you had more colors or whatever, you can go ahead and add some. Um, this one didn't stir up as well or kind of settled. Um, you can go ahead and add a little bit more paint if you don't like what you pull off of of um, kind of the impression that you get um, but what I've noticed is if you try to come in with behind with another canvas and put it right back in that paint that you just did an impression in you quickly find that it's going to get muddy so you know continually dunking new canvases in hoping to pick up that color uh, like I said you're going to find it gets muddy so this is probably one that I've done more colors than ever before um, I'm not a big red user, but I've got some red in this one. And then like I said before, um, I'm going to go ahead and at the end, I'm just going to add a little bit of that, that white paint with the dimethicone in it. Just kind of pop it around. Um, and there we go. Now I'm taking the canvas that I mentioned earlier that I had covered in white. You can kind of see the coating on it. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to make sure I'm pressing. And what you'll see is the paint starts to push away. You can move it around a little, spin it a little, but you definitely want to make sure you're getting all your areas covered because once you pull it up Redunking it, like I said, it starts to get muddy. So here we go. 
and there it is. And then what I usually do is take a torch and just kind of lightly. I, I'm I like cells. I just am not a huge. I don't want cells all over. Although this one looks like it did pretty much get cells all over. Um, and then I set it aside and let it dry. They actually dry very quickly, more than a pour does. Um, and there you have it. I call it uh, acrylic impression painting. Thanks for watching.